Okay, so today on The Woodworks, I'm gonna make roasted root vegetable soup. The past month or so, I've been working on different soups and kind of testing them out with the family. This one, by far, was uh, the best reviewed out of all the soups I've made. And it's my recipe. My kids and my granddaughter were dipping their french fries in the soup. It was so good. And it's just a bunch of root vegetables and um, vegetable stock, basically, so it's Vegan, right? This is vegan, right? Yeah. Vegan, vegetarian? Yeah. Vegan, um, yeah. gluten-free? Yep. All right, so we hit the main things that people get on me about. <laughs> you need more vegetarian and uh, vegan dishes and no gluten. Whatever. <laughs> I like how Elena got the side <laughs> <eye>. <laughs> Well, she's the gluten girl. Okay, so let me run down the list of ingredients. It's two cups diced parsnips, two cups diced celery root, two cups diced turnips, three cups diced carrots, three cups diced sweet potatoes, olive oil, salt and pepper to taste, one onion diced, three cloves of garlic diced, um, one and a half teaspoons of fresh thyme, one teaspoon of chopped fresh rosemary, two bay leaves, and eight to 10 cups of vegetable stock. Now this, making this is just, you know, some work involved because as you can see, you gotta peel all this stuff and then chop it up. So the thing to do is include your kids, have them peel everything. Cause you know, even younger kids can peel. My daughters have been peeling potatoes since they were probably six, seven years old. Just over the trash, they just peel them or you could re recruit your husband or your boyfriend, right? Hey man, get to work. You want this soup? <laughs> peel the peel the stuff. Cause the chopping part's fun. Like I, I love that, but the peeling is just kind of like, eh, it's kind of boring. So recruit some people, include your kids and the family to help you make the soup. But this soup is fantastic. I really can't wait to show you in the end how it turns out. Very proud of it cause I made it up myself. I just kind of was in the supermarket looked at all the root vegetables and just kind of wrote out this recipe. So roasted root vegetable soup on the woodworks is about to happen. Okay, so the first thing to do is to take a few sheet pans and spread all the root vegetables out and you're gonna bake them for like 20, 30 minutes at 450. I got my olive oil, salt and pepper, that's all you're gonna do. So you're just gonna dump everything out, but don't wanna crowd it too much, so I'm gonna use the two pans. And it doesn't really matter which vegetables are with what, cause they're gonna all go back in the pan for the soup, so you're gonna cook them all together, so it doesn't matter. Really simple. I'm gonna hit them with some olive oil. And then I'm gonna mix them around a little bit. And then I'm just gonna hit them with some salt and pepper. All right, and here we go, into the oven. For 20 to 30 minutes, or right as they're tender. So let me put the timer, and we'll be right back. Okay, so we're working on the roasted root vegetable soup. I got the vegetables in the oven, they're just about done. I'm gonna now start to saute the onions um, with a little olive oil in the pan. Get the onions in here. Gonna hit them just with a little salt and pepper.
Okay, you're gonna put the garlic in. Now at this point, um, I don't really need to keep adding oil as we go, because I have my vegetable stock on standby, so if the pan gets sticky, I'm just gonna start to add some vegetable stock, and then, you know, eventually I'm gonna add a lot in to make the soup, but this is just so the onions and garlic don't stick to the pan, and I'm not using too much olive oil. So, but right now everything's good, smells good. Just a little of the vegetable stock. And then once that liquid reduces, I'm gonna add the herbs and the bay leaf. to, you know, clean out the pores, you know, or the, the, sin the sinuses, the sinuses. <laughs> All right, I am adding the herbs. I got the thyme, the bay leaves, and the rosemary. I'm just gonna mix that in. Oh, wow, it smells great. Got this nice little base going. Gonna add a little more vegetable stock. And I know all the vegetables are done in the oven. So we're gonna take them out and we're gonna start adding them into the pan. Um, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Wow, look at that. They're all nice and tender. Cook up really easy once they get in the pan. They look great. Okay. So let me get my, get this. And we're gonna start adding them into the pan. So you just wanna do this slowly so you don't make a mess. Cause if you just try to dump them in there, it'll probably will and bad for you. Oh, this is gonna be awesome. Just gonna stir that around a little bit. And then we're gonna add the rest. All right, got them all in the pan. Gonna mix it around a little bit. And I'm gonna start adding the vegetable stock. I always keep a little extra on hand because sometimes if like the measurements weren't exact, because um, I don't want to waste some of the vegetables, you want to have a little extra of the vegetable stock standing by to make sure you cover the vegetables in the pan. Give it a little stir. And add a little more, probably the rest of this one. The first two that I put in there were already open in the fridge, so they were like half full. So I would say this is still around 10, 10 cups. And we're gonna get this to a simmer and then gonna turn the heat down. And I'm gonna use the, uh, what is this thing called again? Emulsion, immersion, immersion blender um, to blend it all up. So we'll be right back, you know, in about 20 minutes. Gotta let it simmer for a little bit. So let me take the bay leaves out. Okay, I got one bay leaf. Gotta find the other one. And 
the other bay leaf has disappeared. I keep thinking I see it, and it's a little piece of thyme, <laughs> rosemary. Uh. Ah, got it. Got the trusty blender. I haven't added a lot of salt and pepper because the vegetables, I added salt and pepper when they were in the oven. So I'm just gonna blend it up and then I'm gonna taste it and see what it needs in the end. I'm gonna turn the heat down low. And we're gonna blend it up. All right, gonna just give it a little taste. Take it off the heat to taste it, cause it's bubbling up a lot. Don't think it needs anything. It's maybe like, no, cause last time I made it, someone said it was too spicy, right? I don't remember, but I, I think it's good. We're good to go. A little more salt. And then I'm just gonna add a little more vegetable broth so it's not so thick. But it's actually like pretty good consistency right now. Just gonna stir this up. And I'm gonna let it uh, cook for like another 10 minutes. And then we're gonna Put it in a bowl and give it a taste. I mean, it already tastes fantastic. Really proud of this recipe, so I hope you guys try it at home. So, we'll be right back. Ready? Oh. <laughs> okay, got the roasted root vegetable soup here. I love this soup, so I already know what my reaction's gonna be. Mm. Oh man. So you get some of the sweetness from the sweet potato, but the other root vegetables are kind of countering that because they're more savory. And it's just, it's like the perfect soup. It is so good. I mean, there's nothing I would change. This could be in any restaurant. It's amazing. I really suggest you do this with your kids, like have them help you peel the vegetables. Um, make it a family event. Um, I, I just love it. I mean, this is, I'll, I'm gonna be having this for a couple days now. And um, the good thing in my house is everyone loved this one. So this will be one I'll continue to make. It also might be one I add to some of the holidays to have a soup course, because sometimes, like on Thanksgiving, you're not thinking, courses you're just thinking the turkey and the mashed potatoes and whatever but I like to add something new each uh, holiday season so this is probably gonna be added so try it at home try it with your family recruit the husband the boyfriend to peel some potatoes and root vegetables uh, enjoy it I love it and I can't wait for you to try it until next time Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-